What's up guys, in today's video we're we'll going to be talking about the newest update and exactly what they changed in Modern Warfare and Warzone and the biggest things that they've added into the game so far. But before we get to that, I want you guys to subscribe if you're new around here to drop that thumbs up to today's video and then comment down below and tell me what you're actually pumped about them changing or adding in to Modern Warfare and Warzone. But as much once again, let's get right into this. So off the rip, we're going to be talking about exactly what is new for multiplayer and everything like that. So they've added in a new Call of Duty endowment pack. It's called Fearless. It's now available. They added in the new gunfight map called Isle 9. They added in a new multiplayer map, which is Hard Hat. That's actually a remastered or a they brought it back pretty much. Then they modified special operations, replay existing operations with a twist. Some enemies may charge more frequently, or maybe they can be only be taken down with headshots. Check out the new modified special operations and earn new rewards each week. They actually uh, updated the playlist as well. They made it to where real as a mosh pit with MVG, reinfected ground war, core ground war, blueprint gunfight, aisle nine face off mosh pit, and then hard hat 24 seven. Then for war zone, the playlist goes as this it's BR solos, BR trios, BR quads, blood money quads. Now, along with all these changes for the playlist for war zone, they also changed a few other things as well and added in a few things. Also, they added in a new field upgrade called the armor box and it's available via loot on the ground and purchasable at buy stations. You can res resupply the entire team's armor. That is going to be a very insane thing to have in your hands, especially late game. Then they added back the most wanted contracts back into the game. In addition to the other three contracts, none have been removed, which is honestly the best play for them to actually do. We now have four contracts total, the bounties, the scavengers, the recons, and the most wanted. I think that was by far the best move on their part. They also updated the loot in the game. They added the new SKS into the ground loot and stuff like that, where you can find in boxes. They updated five new blueprints for the Axe 50. They made it epic. For the Kilo, they made it a legendary. For the FAL, they brought in an epic. The MP7, they brought in a legendary. And the AUG, they brought in an epic. They've also changed Gulag loadouts, so with the weapons you're going to be using in Gulag. The Gulag will now randomly choose from six ARs and four SMGs, all automatic, no burst, or single fire guns included. One of them being the Kilo 141, one of them being the M4, the AK-47, the M13, the SCAR, the Ram 7, MP5, AUG, P90, and the Striker. Once again, we're just covering the biggest changes that they did with this update, so I'm not going to be going over the small little details and bug fixes that they did because this is just the huge things that are actually going to be you're going to be noticing a huge difference with in the game so for weapons with the nerfs and buff now we're going to be talking about what they've messed with with Renetis. Now they reduced the max ammo reserve for the MK3 burst mod. They added in significant hip fire spread increase. And then for the MK3 burst mod as well, they also decreased the damage. Now they also reduced the damage when a Kimbo and MK3 burst mod are also equipped. So pretty much the Renetis Akimbo now are honestly kind of nerfed to heck and back. I don't know exactly like... I don't know, man. They're just nerfing Akimbo into the ground. For the FAL, they decreased the ADS time. And then for the SCAR, they also decreased the time to ADS. For the LMGs, they lowered the ammo count for reload warning and belt on belt-fed LMGs. Jesus, I can't even talk. So pretty much that's not going to change anything for the LMGs. It's just basically telling you when you need to reload your gun. And then they reduced the penalty for holding your breath too long with sniper scopes. They also fixed for the level 34 unlock with the Renetti showing the Merc foregrip. The VLK Rogue, they increased the rate of fire. They increased close damage range for 12 gauge. And they increased the damage range to the 6 inch revolt barrel. For the Holger, they increased movement speed, ADS speed, slight recoil reduction. For all of the barrels, they pretty much did some crazy things for it. They improved the ADS speed. For the 30 round mags, they reduced sprint out time, everything like that. For the no stock, they increased the sprint out time, faster movement, everything like that. Stipple grip tape, bro. The actual Holger just got a major buff. The Holger got an insane, insane buff. That's insane. I can't even. Okay. So that's pretty much the biggest changes that they put in for the game and actually change with this update for the 1.21 update. Now, tell me down in the comments what you're actually excited to try out now because they did change a lot of different things and I'm honestly kind of hyped to try out the Holger now. Like, I know it's like damage wise not the best, but ADS speed and stuff, I don't know, man. Like, it's, I don't know, I want to give it a try now. 
So do let me know in the comments what you guys think about that as well. Much love to you guys. Peace. <laughs>